All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video, and welcome to our brand new filming space. I wanna give a quick shout out to you guys. Without your help, without you guys watching, it would not be possible for me to have a space like this, so thank you so, so much. And as a thank you, I wanted to bring you guys one of my favorite products I've been using over the past actually five years. This is my everyday carry thermos. Uh, I don't know why I haven't shared with this, this with you guys yet, as I preach it to everyone and their mother uh, that I see on a day-to-day -day basis. So as always, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in checking this out. But let me explain to you guys why this is my absolute favorite everyday carry thermos and why I'm so crazy about it. All right, so this thermos, like I said, it's by a little company named Zoji Rushi. You can see the logo here. It's a little cute little elephant. Zoji Rushi actually means the elephant brand. So the reasons I like this thermos so much are really threefold. I like the overall design of these, I like their functionality and performance, and I like the insane durability that these thermoses offer. So let me tell you a bit about each of those. We'll start with the performance because, well, that's really what you care about most when purchasing a thermos. Like I said, these really take other brands like Thermos and Yeti to town. I've, done, I've actually done a completely separate video on validating the performance figures on their website, but all you guys need to know is that if you put a hot liquid in here at the beginning of the day, it will be too hot to drink at the end of the day. If you put a cold liquid with ice cubes in here, those ice cubes will not melt literally for days on end. I took this thermos with me on vacation down south. It is a black thermos. I left it in the sun with ice cubes in it. They lasted a whole day on the beach. That is incredible and more performance than you can really ask for out of a thermos. Moving on with the functionality of this, one of my favorite features is how spill proof they are. It has this lock here. If the lock is engaged, you will not be able to press the release button. But once you do unlock it, it unveils one of my favorite features about this. One of my biggest gripes with other thermoses is how they hit you in the nose when you drink. This one, press the button, it flips open and there is a magnet here. That magnet completely stops you from hitting yourself in the face when drinking and making yourself look, look like a goof by walking around the rest of the day with coffee on your nose. Plus, it's quite addictive to do. Next is the cleaning. Well, we'll quickly actually show you the opening of this. Obviously big enough to fit ice cubes, something a lot of other thermos makers overlook. You want ice cubes in here. You want cold beverages. The other thing is how easy it is to clean. Looking at the lid here, flipping it open again, and you pop out this inner spout. You can see the water sealing in here. It's absolutely incredible. But this is dishwasher safe, and coming into multiple pieces like this means that you can clean it thoroughly each and every time. Popping that back in and screwing it back on is also super easy and quick. So moving on to the overall styling of this, I take this to work every day and it doesn't look out of place at all in this black color. That's why I have it in black. And well, that's why I have a second one in black. <laughs> I think it looks good in the office. Um, it doesn't look out of place with a normal office attire, pen, a notepad. People won't blink twice if they see this on a boardroom table. It's professional looking, but also you take it camping with you. You're not afraid to throw it around. It doesn't look out of place in a casual setting. So that's what I really like about it. If I wasn't taking this to the office, I'd probably get it in one of my favorite colors they offer, which is the smoky blue. Uh, that's the specific one that I'll link down in the description. It's my favorite color by them. If I was to buy a third one, that would probably be it. So moving on to the final point, the durability of these. As you can see, and like I said, I had this for five years and I'm still using it. You can see some nicks on the outside of this. Uh, and that's the point I really wanna make. Looking at the bottom, like I said, this has been dragged through sand. It's been on my camping trips and I'm still comfortable taking it into the office. I think it has a great little character now. Uh, I wanna focus on this big nick here because I remember when it happened. I was camping, it fell out of my backpack during a portage and it bounced across some rocks and it got this big nick. But what I wanna notice about that is that it is not a dent in the bottle. It is a nick in the paint. You can see it going a bit into the metal there, but completely superficial, which I find incredible for how hard it fell. Uh, I don't know how to relay this to you guys, the quality of these without you holding them in your hands other than a sound test, as weird as that sounds. So I'm gonna take a normal thermos right here. This is what it sounds like. Okay, and here's the Zoji Rushi. It's a much deeper sound. It's much more 
heavy, solid sound, and you really notice that. I've dented countless ones of these before I bought my Zoji Rushi, and then for the next five years, these two have lasted me forever. So, I hope you guys learned a little something. If you're in the market for a new thermos, I cannot recommend these as enough. I have all my friends purchasing them. I've had my family purchase them. I drive people absolutely up the wall with them, but every time they buy them, they say, wow, what an amazing thermos. So I hope this is useful for you guys. I hope it wasn't too boring, a little bit of thermos talk, but these really are an incredible product. Uh, thank you again for all your support, and I will see you guys in the next video.